Hi, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, uh, we are going to learn how to install a DietPy on our Proxima server. Uh, there is a reason why I'm installing DietPy on my Proxima server. I will explain that as we move, you know, move further with the upcoming videos. Um, again, a DietPy is, is a, a Linux distro, and this is especially designed for a, a single board devices like uh, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, and there are a lot more, you know, like you can find them um, in their official website. Um, yeah, so let's get started. How we're going to install is this very simple. Uh, we are we have a Proxmo server and we have installed uh, OpenSense Firewall on the Proxmo server and the OpenSense Firewall have a LAN IP range of 192.160.1.1. One slash twenty four, and then on on that we're going to install a diet pie and we're going to assign a static IP of one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two zero. I would have directly installed a diet pie on a Proxima server and assigned the IP range from my router, but again I don't want to touch my router configuration. That's why I am uh, doing in this way. However, you have a full control over it. You can you like if you don't have an open sense firewall. You can directly install that by on your Proxima server, and then with the help of your router, you can assign a static IP. Um, so yeah, we have a dedicated article uh, on how we can. I, it's a DIPA article, and this article is a very good article, and it explains how you can install DIPA on a Proxima server. So the first thing is that we need to create a virtual machine, uh, a Linux virtual machine. And uh, I'm going to create like you click on on the right hand side of your Proxima server. Uh, you, you have something which says create VM. Click on that. Name this virtual machine as a diet pie. Click next. I'm not going to select an image because as per the article, we are going to download the image and extract that image. And once the image is extracted, uh, we will going to import that particular image into this particular. We are what we are going to create. One thing that we have to make sure here is that the type is Linux. The OS type is going to be Linux over here. Click next. System is going to be Q35. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes here. Um, um, yeah, I think no, I'm not going to make any changes here. I'll click next here and uh, disk. Um, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to create any risk. I'm going to, I'm going to delete this disk and click on next for the CPU uh, of the core. I'm going to keep this as a four core and memory. I'm going to keep this as a 8192, which is eight gigabyte network. I'm going to leave as it is, click confirm and finish. So my virtual machine has been created here and, uh, and there are a couple of changes that we need to make here. So first thing is that we need to install the uh, this extract utility on the Proxmox server. I'll copy this command. I'll go to Proxmox. I'll run this. And yep, it has been already installed. And next command is basically to install, uh, download the uh, DietPy image, I think. I have already downloaded the image, but again, I think I'm, I'm going to re-download the image so that I will make sure that I have the latest copy of the image installed into Proxmox. Again, do not worry about uh, about all of this link I, uh, or the command. I'm going to share this in the uh, description of this particular video. I'm going to copy this, extract it. Yeah, it is already extracted, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then I, I I have made a couple of changes to this particular command, and I'm going to tell you what are the changes I have made. So the first thing that I have made, the first change what I have made is like ID. So my virtual machine ID is 108. I have changed it to 108. And I am using local ZFS as the... Uh, the storage, right? So the QM import disk ID, which is going to be 108, and the image that we have extracted 
this image we're going to import into the virtual machine um, and from the storage which will be local ZFS and then we're going to assign uh, SCSI 0 as the uh, device and we're going to set the board order to SCSI 0. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here and run. Now this image is getting imported. So now you see here we have an image that has been imported into the virtual machine. I'll click on it and currently this is a unused disk, right? I'll double click on it and I'll click on add. So now this 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 image uh, that we have uh, added has been added as a disk into this virtual machine and it has a 8 gigabyte of storage. It is up to you. If you want to keep 8 gigabyte, you can keep 8 gigabyte, but no, I, I really I really want to make this into a, a 64 gigabyte of storage. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to increment the size uh, with 56 gigabyte and then I'm going to run. So basically now what I have done, I have incremented the size of this particular hard drive to 60 gig 64 gigabyte. And now I go to console, I go click on start. Okay, I think it's got timed out. Let me stop this. Uh, go to option. I want to make sure that, okay, it's, you see like the disk what we have created is not selected. So that's one of the reasons it was not able to boot it. I have enabled that and I have made that as a primary boot by going to option and the boot order. Now again, I go back and I'll start this VM. There we go. Now we are booting into Diet Pie. Okay. So default login credential is login ID is root and the password is Diet Pie. Let me type login root Diet Pie. And there we go, the installation has begun. Sometimes the APT update might fail, you just do a retry a couple of times and you will be back to normal. There we go. I'm going to use generic keyboard here and I would go with other and United English US. My keyboard layout is English US and I'll leave it everything. I will leave everything, everything as default. Click OK. Click OK. Now it, it will ask whether you like to change your global software password now. Yes, I would like to change it. I am Changing it. Mm. Uh, yes, I would also like to change my root password. There we go. We have a diet by up and running on the Proxmox server. Now, um, I will just leave it as a uh, yeah, one thing that I need to make change is, here is the, I need to change the IP address. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to assign now a slash a static IP. Uh, so how do I do that? I'll go to diet by config. I go to network adapter and uh, I go to ethernet. I go to DHCP and uh, okay. No, I'm not going to. Okay, now one thing I have made a mistake here. The, the mistake is 
okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do any changes to the IP here. I'm just going to go back, exit, and uh, install this. And yep. So I'll tell you the mistake what I have done here. So as I have explained you earlier, I have multiple which and by default I have selected the bridge which is uh, of my router right however I the plan was not to use my router as a image here the plan was to use my LAN adapter or LAN adapter of my uh, OpenSense firewall which is a VMBR1 and I have to click OK so what I have to do I'll just click OK here now I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm going to purge the survey. I really do not want to send my uh, survey detail. There we go. I I would just reboot this quickly so that this diet pie will get the IP address from my OpenSense firewall as I have now changed uh, the uh, the network adapter to VMBR1 from VMBR0. There we go. A login. With root and my new password, and uh, I will go to that by config again. And I go to my network adapter, I go to my Ethernet, and I change my Ethernet from uh, static IP and I'm going to change it to 20. So it's basically going to be 192.168.1.20 and click OK and apply and restart the network configuration. Let's run the uh, test now. Yes, it is online and I was able to reach my, uh, yeah. So yes, there we go. This is how we will install a diet pie on a Boxmox server. Thank you so much. If you're watching till now, I would say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.